What's up friends, Shauna Yurko here. Welcome to my channel, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, you should totally hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of really fun stuff coming up, but today I wanna to talk to you about flat lay photography, specifically holidays. It's gonna be super fun. It's gonna be like kind of a down and dirty video, but the results that you will get from doing these flat lay tips, it'll be epic. Let's check it out. So this place is a disaster. Sorry. If this is your first time to my channel, apologies for the mess. Usually I make things much cleaner. It's a little more cinematic. You know, I am a video producer. I take a little bit of pride in the way things look, but I mean, I was setting up this product shot and I was like, how valuable would this information be for entrepreneurs, for photographers who are just starting out with flat lays, for small businesses who can't afford to hire a product photographer. So this one's for you guys. And again, if this is your first time on my channel, please watch some other videos. It's a little better. I will be shooting on my Sony a7 III, but you don't necessarily have to be shooting on a professional camera. Have good light and you can shoot photos on your iPhone. Edit it in Lightroom, call it good. Tip number one is find good lighting. You don't have to have professional lights to find good lighting. I'm gonna be using two one by one panel lights and this little, light box that I created here, but if you come on over here, you can go ahead and step over that light there. Come on over. Might be overexposed, but you can see that this is like a little light box. But each of these walls here, hey, each of these walls here is literally just a little like foam core board. And I have three of them taped together and then one on the bottom. And it's created this little light box. You can take a homemade, Little thing costs about like maybe 10 bucks to buy these things and some tape to tape it together. I'm using Gorilla Tape, pro tip, always use Gorilla Tape. <laughs> uh, but take this light box, point this side toward your open front door when it's like super bright outside. You'll have a really beautiful natural light light box. That's a good little tip for if you're a photographer on a budget, if you wanna make these great flat lights, find the best lighting. If you have bad light, you're gonna have bad flat light. Tip number two is balance. You have to pay attention to this compositional technique that's used in photography. It basically entails making sure that the visual weight of the photo is equal on both sides, on the top and bottom. Um, you pay attention to all the different visual elements in the photo and overall, does it feel balanced? Here's a great example of balance used in a flat lay. Check it out. This bad boy down here, balances out this bad boy up here. Opposite corners equal visual weight. So if you're having trouble finding the balance in your images, try layering things in. Like, put things in, take a photo, see how it looks, keep it super simple that first pass. But then maybe add in a prop, take the photo again. And then maybe add in another prop, take the photo again. So layering things in can help you figure out like what looks like too much in the photo versus what's not enough. Next tip is pay attention to the details. Uh, don't rush it. If you're photographing products, make sure all your labels are facing the right way. Make sure that the angles of everything are juxtaposed just so. Just don't rush it. Pay attention to the details. Clean up your surface. There's not like crumbs somewhere if you're shooting food photography. Here's an example of some details. Nice little bow. Ribbon, twirling. All right, so one way I'm gonna make sure that this bad boy doesn't roll because it is a round bottle. Scotch tape. Oh. Make sure that everything is just right before you snap that photo. Little tips like that seriously make a huge difference in your flat lace. All right, next tip is all about props. Make sure you're choosing the right ones. So since we're talking specifically about holiday flat lays, um, I am doing holiday specific, but not Christmas specific, not Hanukkah specific. So I'm getting things that are all very neutral and holiday-y. So think a little bit shiny, but also some brown paper packaging tied up with strings, that kind of thing. And I'm using some fake snow to communicate cold weather. Um, got some 
uh, color neutral sparkle balls. So fun. Pine cones. Um, some Michaels stuff that we may or may not use. That actually brings me to the next tip. Don't be afraid to not use the props that you initially chose because you may lay something into your flat lay and it just, it looks terrible. So sometimes things actually look really great in real life, IRL if you will, but they look really bad in the photo. So don't be afraid to lose the initial props that you chose and go with something else. Next tip is find some inspo. I have an entire Pinterest board all about flat lays. It's the best, it gives you great ideas, it helps get your creativity flowing, and that's the last tip. Be creative with these. Feel free to keep it simple and just include like a couple minimal items. Feel free to go wild, use a ton of fake snow and a bunch of different props, and sometimes that actually looks really great. Ultimately, as a photographer, your creativity is your most powerful tool, so don't forget to be creative. That is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you're taking flat light photography this Christmas, tag me. I want to see, please. Shauna Shots, you can see it right here. Like, subscribe, comment. Leave me a comment on what your favorite tip was. I wanna see your photos. Show me them, tag me, all the above. With that being said, I'll see you next time.